Hello friend, in this video we are going to see yellow V8. So how we can use yellow V8 for prediction, validation and training. This is the latest version of the yellow. So we first of all jump into the Polar Notebook and uh, let's set up uh, Ultra Lighting Library. So then we are going to use yellow CLI. This is a command line interface. So we directly type yellow commands and pass the argument like predict, train and validation and export. So see, uh, let's see one by one. So first of all, we install all of these packages. So it's already installed on my Polab notebook. So here we using this uh, yellow command and then we passing this predict and defining the which model we are going to use and the source. So this is the image. So here you can see it first download this uh, yellow 8. So it downloaded uh, this model and uh, downloaded this image and uh, done the inference on this image. Okay, so we see it uh, successfully detected two person and one die in a, in a image. Now next, we, uh, we we will do a validation on Coco dataset. So here we downloading the Coco validation dataset and we unzipping this in a zip dataset folder. So now we are using this yellow validation and we downloading this. Uh, model file and we defining on which data we are going to do validation. So internally it will call coco128.yml file and uh, so it will go inside this dataset folder and uh, check this coco128 folder and it will load all the images and labels and uh, do a validation on this dataset. So here you can see we have lots of uh, classes and their images and instances. So uh, instances means like uh, number of images we have and the box uh, precision recall MAP uh, 5295. So all of this information are given after inference for all classes. So how we can train a YOLO on our custom data or we can uh, annotate our data in a COCO format so we can easily train this YOLO V8 for our custom data set. So here we using YOLO train model uh, we loading this model and uh, passing this uh, coco128 yaml file and defining the number of epoch, epoch and uh, what is the size of the image right so all of these parameter we have to pass and it will start uh, training so make sure you have in coco format so you have to export your data set annotated data set in coco format now next so we can export uh, this PyTorch model into any other framework like Torch Script, ONX format, OpenVINO format, TensorRT, ORML, TensorFlow saved model. So we can export in this all of this uh, framework. So this is a command we are going to use. So simply we have to uh, use yellow CLI and pass this export as argument and uh, model which model you going to export in another format. So this is the format we have to pass here. Now we see the CLI of yellow. Now how we can use in Python? So this is a good question here. So they provide a library called Ultralytix. We have previously set up already here and we use this uh, yellow function from Ultralytix. So suppose we want to load a model. So how we can load this? So first of all, you have to pass this yellow v8 and .yml file build a new model from scratch if you want to and load the pretend model for training. So if you want to initialize submit from a pretend model and then you can start the training using model.train on any data set. If you have your own data set, so you can pass your ML file here and define the epoch number of epoch here and do some validation and check the result just passing this image URL or any folder you want. Then you want to export in another, if you want to export in another format, so you just pass the format name here. So it will training, validation and export. So now using yellow V8, we can perform this uh, common task like detection, segmentation, classification, post detection. Okay. So now we are going to do first detection here. So first of all, we are loading this um, pretend model. We will train this model on Coco one to Coco one two eight uh, data set, and then we do a prediction here. So I am already trained this model. 
so here you can see we have successfully uh, inferenced over this image so in i mean we have four person one bus and one stop sign so in 7.5 millisecond depend on your system configuration now second we will do segmentation so for segmentation this model we are going to use so we loading this pre-trained segmentation model and we do training on coco one to eight segmentation.tml file we define here three epochs and we do inference on it so here you can see the inference here four percent one was one stack board so this model has detected uh, differently one here and now we are going to do classification here so we are going to train on amnist 160 data set we are loading this classification model here and we do this uh, inference on the same uh, bus.jpg file so here it uh, predicted some like this so 98407 into 0.8 milliseconds for post detection we are going to import this model and we are going to train on coco 8 postml uh, data set and we are doing same uh, inferencing on this bus.jpg file so if you point this uh, key points on uh, ma so you will get uh, post uh, god names so hope guys you like this video in this video we use this yellow at functionality how we can uh, train predict and validate the model and also for different tasks and uh, you can train or inference we have seen in the in this tutorial using python so first of all we use the cli command line interface so in this way we can use yellow v8 and for our custom data set or for custom models also so hope guys you like this video please subscribe share stay safe stay tuned thank you guys